Hey YouTube world, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters and I'm going to finish up the second half of November sales for you. Um, I've got about 15 items here to show you and more than half of them are eyeglasses. So this might be a good one if you're interested in learning more about which eyeglasses sell. Um, but I've got some other cool things here to show you as well. So this first item is a pair of Ralph Lauren sunglasses. These are not prescription sunglasses, just regular sunglasses. Um, they were in really nice condition, no scratches on the lenses. Um, these sold for, let's see, $40, best offer of $40. Um, in November, I had put up best offer on all my listings um, just because of everything that was going on and I um, was just a little desperate for sales. And so um, you're gonna see I took a lot of best offers here on, on these. Um, these sales that I'm going to show you today. So anyways, these I took a best offer of $40 and um, I paid $2 for these at a thrift store. Alright, next. This is a pair of Pro Design. These are prescription eyeglasses that I got from a thrift store. I paid $5 for these and I took a best offer of $50. Pro Design Denmark and um, yeah so those sold for $50 okay this is a vintage 1920s Bible um, I bought this for $3 at a thrift store and I took a best offer of $20 on this one it was in decent condition I did have some wear and some writing in it but the cool thing about this one was it had about um, I think six or seven bookmarks all different colors so that was kind of neat and it was from the 20s so it was a pretty old Bible and then this Bible I sold for fifteen dollars um, I have also paid three dollars for this one at the thrift store and this was a Spanish Bible and it was the first Spanish Bible I'd ever listed and I think I listed it a little low because um, I listed it and it sold the next day for fifteen dollars so maybe I should have listed that a little higher um, it was from 1954 and it was in really nice condition. It was bonded leather. There's that. All right. This is a vintage light bright. It was really neat. It had the original box, all the patterns, um, the pegs, lots of pegs, um, the original instructions, the original like ads. I mean, it had everything. It was really neat. I paid $3 for it at a thrift store and I took a best offer of $25 on that. If I would have waited until closer to Christmas, I probably got could have got a little bit more for it. And then this is a lot of 90 pieces. Um, I figured I paid about $10 for these. I find these at thrift stores in um, like bags, lots once in a while and so I just collect them up. This I took a best offer of $40 on and um, <clears throat> last Christmas I sold these uh, similar set, a similar number of pieces for I think closer to $100 so if I would have waited closer to Christmas I probably could have got a lot more for those as well. Alright this is an Anna Sui eyeglass case. I paid a dollar for this at the thrift store um, and it sold for fifteen dollars plus shipping and then this is a pair of Stetson Xyloware prescription eyeglasses these I found at a thrift store for two dollars let's see there you can see Xyloware and they sold for best offer of $25. And this is a pair of JLo prescription eyeglasses. These came out of an eBay lot that I got. Um, I don't remember how many pieces were in the lot, but I figured I had paid about 75 cents per eyeglass frame out of that lot. And they sold for $30. And there you can see J.Lo, Jennifer Lopez on the inside there. 
Okay, this is a pair of Guess prescription sunglasses. Um, these sold for thirty-five dollars. Um, I paid about a dollar fifty for them. There's the name Guess, and they were in nice condition. All right, this is a brand called La Scala. La Scala, I don't know how to say that. But um, they sold for $20, and I paid a dollar for these at the thrift store. And let me see if I can find the name. There's the name. It's not a very good picture, but there you can see the name brand, La Scala. Okay, this was an antique oil lamp or lantern that we found. Um, this came out of an online estate auction lot, and I think there was five or six pieces that were kind of silver tone that they just kind of lotted all together, and we figured we paid about $5 per item out of that lot. And I think this is the last item out of that lot to sell. Now, it did have the original glass chimney, which was a really thin glass, hand-blown, really neat. The brand name on it was Bradley Hubbard, and it did say 1905 on the the top of the piece there, and that sold for ninety dollars plus shipping. That was a good sale, and it sold really quickly too. Actually, um, I had had it for a long time and didn't list it, and then when I did list it, it sold within a week. All right, this is a pair of vintage Bosch & Loam prescription eyeglasses. And you can see the B and L there on the, the little nose bridge. Um, they weren't in the best condition. As you can see there, um, the, the nose pieces where the little nose pads would go were all bent up, and they were missing the little pads. Um, I didn't want to mess with them because I didn't want to risk breaking them off, so I just sold them as they were as is and they sold for a best offer of forty dollars and I found those at a thrift store for two dollars alright this is a cool pair of prescription sunglasses they were Vogue Vogue and they were kind of a steampunk design very unique as you can see there um, kind of retro-y and these sold for a best offer of fifty dollars and they came out of that same eBay lot where I figured I paid about 75 cents per frame so that was a good sale right, and so this last item I have to show you was an interesting thing that I found at the thrift store I had no idea what it was I paid four dollars for it basically just because I was curious about it and um, I couldn't find anything like it exactly like it but I found similar things and um, it was very, very heavy. At first I thought it was some kind of a meat tenderizer because it was, there was so much weight down there in the, in the bottom of it. But um, I decided it was an ice crusher for like a, a bar tool. And it could also be used as a measuring cup or maybe a shot glass, even though it was kind of a big shot glass. Um, it weighed almost a pound and a half, as you can see. The handle was very heavy and it was also very heavy down there in the bottom of the cup. And so I decided it was an ice crusher. Um, I listed it for $15. I really wasn't sure what the value of it was. There was no markings on it. So I didn't know who made it or anything. Um, so I priced it $15 and it sold within a day. So I probably undersold it. <laughs> but like I said, I wasn't sure what it was or what its value was. And um, I should have listed it a little higher. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Check out this little guy here. He was crawling around over here by my mouse. When we got the camper, there were hundreds of them frozen and dead all over the place. And so we were cleaning those up, but, but we found several that had survived. Um, they were in drawers and cabinets and all huddled together in the corners. And they were even in between the sheets on the beds and inside the couches and things like that. So it's been kind of fun finding them. and. Um, it's fun to watch them, especially since there's so many of them. <laughs> we need to clean the, the little bug box. It's pretty dirty. <laughs> yeah. But they live in there. There's probably, I would say, about 40 of them, huh? Mm-hmm. I would At say least. 50. At least, yeah. We've been finding them all over the place. So we've given them a little bit of water on a paper towel. 
And we gave them a little bit of honey to suck on and they like that. Alright guys, well that's all I have to share for right now. Um, I'll try to get December done here pretty soon. I'll probably do two videos for December as well. I had some pretty cool sales in December, so look forward to that. Um, so anyways, I'm going to get this posted. Thanks for watching. Take care.